Lieutenant Colonel Alan West is the CEO of the National Center for Policy Analysis. He joins us right now. Good morning to you. Good to be with you, Steve. Uh, we've heard that going forward, you know, this particular administration does not seem to be the friend of the military because they seem to be cutting things to the bone. For instance, the, the latest stuff is uh, there will be a modest annual military pay raise over the next five years. They're going to slow the rate of growth in basic housing allowances and raising out-of-pocket expenses to 5% and creating a single fee for service, TRICARE mm -hmm. plan, decreasing the uh, commissary subsidies, pharmacy copay adjustments. It's going to cost more to be a Marine, and yeah. we're not we're not giving them as much. Well, it's interesting because when you look at that list that you just uh, named off, what if we tried to cut food stamps? What if we tried to cut, you know, the money that we're sending to Section 8 housing? You know, the most important responsibility of the federal government is, is to provide for the common defense and take care of our men and women in uniform. We already know that we're not taking care of our veterans as right. far as their health care. And the fact that now we want to bring in tens of thousands of refugees to the United States of America, probably not going to be vetted very well. And we're just going to once again open up the, the social welfare programs to all of these individuals. Absolutely. Uh, we know that refugees will receive at least an $1,850 resettlement fee automatically, mm -hmm. and then they're going to be eligible for all the things that Americans generally uh, get mm -hmm. when they're here and they're in trouble. You're absolutely right. And think about the fact that the Obama administration has said that we're going to cut 40,000 active duty soldiers from the United States Army. What's going to happen to them? We know that we have a Navy that is about 1917 levels, a Marine Corps at World War I levels, the oldest and the smallest fleets since we created the modern United mm -hmm. States Air Force. But yet we're going to take government funds, American taxpayer dollars, and we're going to give it to people that are coming here and we know nothing about. He's making it harder to be a member of the military mm -hmm. and easier for somebody from another land to come here. Absolutely. And a time when we have Russia uh, with their troops in Syria. We see China expanding in the Pacific and we are decimating our military. And it's really a slap in the face to those who have to raise their right hand and said that they will support and defend the Constitution. You know, uh, for the for active duty military and retired as well, when they look at this uh, commander in chief and what he has done so far, what's the feeling? The feeling is uh, a, a bit of a it's dejection. I mean, they here are the people that are the best that this country can produce, and they don't understand why the commander in chief is making them really not just second class, third class citizens. Right. Colonel West, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank Always. you.